the mound to face Austin Martin, who's hitting over 400 for the year. He first pitch swings at it to third. Nelson fires across. And there's one man down. A little different start for Tommy Henry tonight than we saw with Drake Fellows. He has the most impressive start in his College World Series so far. Complete game shutout for Tommy Henry. That saved the bullpen. It was game two. Then Michigan had three days off before they played last Friday. Don't change a thing now because he's been the best yet here. 127 strikeouts. That's a school record over the course of the season. And it's a great combination of power and swing and miss. 25 walks, 127 strikeouts this year for Henry. On against Lede and Henry is ahead 0 and 2. Oh slow roller fair ball Kerr simple play and two slow rollers for two outs. Chases that Tommy Henry welcome to game one. Awfully impressive. Seven pitches. Probably was singing a Kenny Chesney song. We'll talk about why after this. Ninety mile an hour fastball. DeMarco is retired. Second strikeout for Tommy Henry. This guy's got a couple. 2 2 and he buried him. Boy, you give Henry two strikes to work with. It's not a fun time to be a hitter. That's his third strikeout of an. 1 2, he buried him with a slider. And he picks up his fourth strikeout of the night. Did Vanderbilt? Ought to be focused. He had a lot of distractions this year, did Lede. This one has popped up. Donovan coming back again, up against the screen, and that time he's able to make the catch. Nine home runs on the season. This one, Henry may have deflected it, but it goes to the shortstop. And it's wow, what a, what a scoop over there by Jimmy Kerr. Tell you what, now, and, and it is not easy to make this decision. It looked like Tommy Henry intentionally let that ball go through. He knew they're pinched up the middle. Watch the glove. Goes to field it and pulls it back right at the last minute. That allows the double play to happen. Jack Walker, Walker takes it from there. Fascinating to watch these guys. Progress through the minors to the majors. How quickly it happens. That one's on the ground, and Thomas is there to make the play. League manager. I guess. Take him every day. I would consider every both of day. these guys. Well, yeah. without a doubt, yes. Yep. Without a doubt. Okay. Okay. Franklin in the sunshine is there to make the play. The changeup is the one that Tommy Henry is usually the most comfortable with. What he has had. Is the slider. The slider he has had control of all night. On the ground to third, fair ball. Ray retired by Blake. Weeks now, and you know, we're, we're having the time of our lives. I mean, we are, they're, they're smiling in here, they're laughing, they're having a blast. And we're just trying to shrink the moment uh, to where, get the lead off out. Good. Um, we're just trying to shrink the moment and just make. When you answer, you're always right. Here comes the changeup. <laughs> Called strike three on the corner. Fifth strikeout of the night for Henry. It's either a change if you got around a little bit or a backdoor slider right here. Looks like a slider trying to come back a little bit. And that's that pitch that a lot of times is Tommy Henry's third best pitch tonight. Eddie, I think it's been his second best pitch. He's gone to that one a little bit more comfortably than around the order. You're facing Henry. Now everybody's seen him. Martin singled his last time up. Beats that one to the ground. Good charge by Blumgren who throws across the diamond. And Martin is retired. Michigan fans enjoying a 4-2 advantage as we head to the sixth in Omaha. I'll go. How does that kind of translate to your team as well? Well, our team is based on you know, guys banding together like brothers, no matter where you're from. You know. Advantage. 71 pitches here, bottom six. This one is lifted down the line in right and into the corner. Brewer will go and will stop there and drift and make the play. For three. And with a runner at third, a big 2-2 pitch to Steven Scott. Chases it and Henry 
shows a little emotion. He gets out of it with a slider. That's one thing. Different score. 6 3, we're a little bit more comfortable right now. Maybe it gives you the ability to allow a base runner or two out there. Nelson throws out Harrison Ray, first out set. All right, so we came in tonight, and when we saw Tommy Henry the other night, the changeup was his best off speed oh, pitch. Tonight, the sliders really bailed him out. And it's allowed him to go to this pitch to left handers and right handers. He's had some swing and miss on it, he's had some soft contact on it. Rarely is there a night where you go out and have that three. You're just trying to find that one off speed pitch you can go to. It's been the slider tonight for Tommy Henry, and he went to it at maybe the biggest spot of the game to get Steven Scott struck out to end the six. Three flyouts, 11 ground ball outs, a lot on that slider tonight, six punch outs. Who he is anyway, and that's the beauty of it is, is that's who he is. That's who he was in his game one start, and that's who he's been again tonight. This has popped up left field, and the Bullock playing fairly deep now steps in and makes the play. Now, when you grow up a Tigers fan of his age, the guy that you emulate is Justin Verlander. And it's not necessarily because of the power, but it's really the, as he said, the intangibles of Verlander. Meaning, I want to close the game out. I want to get on the mound and give you nine. And he's pumping his fist now. He's not even looking as the ball is in the glove of Blumgren. He is six outs away from giving Michigan a one nothing lead. Verlander would be proud. Good speed at first in Martin. 2 2 on the way to JJ Blade. Big strikeout, and Blade is gone. Back to the slider, Eddie, and this is the one that just seems like when Tommy Henry needs to make a pitch tonight, most of the time it's been this one. Good slider down in the zone. Blade swings right over the top of it. Big. Oh, two, it's past the dive of Thomas. Lede to third base and out is Martin, I should say, at third base. A base running error by Austin Martin. He is warming up. We may still see Chris White now. Feels like there's a commitment to him. One, two to Philip Clark. Called strike three. Henry through eight. Points to his right fielder, Jordan Brewer. Rolled over, first base is open. That's a really good pass. And he throws to Henry. What can't he do right now? A little collision there with Scott and Henry after he had stepped on first base. This is a tough play here. He commits to going to get it, and you see a lot of first basemen kick it right there. Both of them collide at first, but a really darn good pick by Jimmy Kerr. And this one actually was more on Henry getting in that baseline than Steven Scott. Usually pitchers, you have to go back into the fair territory. He tried to turn around knowing the runner was rounding third. Tommy Henry, he is kind of prepared for this moment when the coach comes out to take the ball, what you're supposed to say in order to Convince him that you're not giving it up, but I don't think he's winning that argument now. And there is no argument. Big smile, though, on the face of Tommy Henry as Eric Backage congratulates him, and Jeff Criswell comes in to try to close this one out. Be nice to find out what Backage said to Henry. And if this thing ends this way, Chris Button will talk with Tommy Henry when the game ends. Standing ovation from the maize and blue as Tommy Henry comes off. Two out shy of a complete game, leading 7-3.